Property Point Customs here. What we're going to do today is unbox my new uh, battery charger. This is made by Intsun. It's uh, purchased through Amazon Canada and it's actually on sale right now for $32.99 plus tax. Now there's many different uh, variations of this on Amazon just with different names. Get it out of the box and see what's in there. Alright, so what you have in the box is your user manual, your actual charger itself, and this has the alligator clips for your positive and negative, and your 110 plug. So with these chargers, they say they're an automatic smart battery charger and maintainer. They're used for motorcycle batteries, so you can actually trickle charge with an LCD display, and it has a microprocessor mode suitable for AGM, GEL, and SLA. Uh, wet batteries so it's nice it's uh, compatible with uh, many different types of batteries and again you can uh, trickle charge for the uh, smaller uh, batteries so I've just grabbed my motorcycle battery so let's hook her up to the uh, charger here and the battery's been sitting out in the garage for a few weeks in the cold so it's probably down a little bit All right, so my uh, battery's all hooked up. So what you're gonna wanna do is press down on the mode button right there, and we're gonna go to motorcycle. And what you're seeing is 14.6 volts and it's charging at 0.4 amps. Now this battery here is fully charged. So what happens, it goes into the off position, meaning it's not gonna put any more charge in it. And it's showing that the battery is 100% charged on the uh, little scale right there. And it also shows your current temperature. So we're just gonna put it to uh, car and truck. So it's showing 17 degrees Celsius here right now. And the battery is actually showing at 14.9 volts. So it's definitely charged. Nice thing about this charger, it actually won't overcharge your battery. And this will actually uh, recharge uh, severely uh, discharged or heavy sulfated uh, batteries. So it will actually repair the batteries. And you can actually do that in repair mode. There's the different modes there. You have car and truck, AGM, motorcycle, or repair mode. Again, this battery's almost brand new, so the battery's fine. But it's nice to have that option for really old batteries that sit around for quite a while. So it certainly doesn't hurt to uh, do this uh, every once in a while to your older batteries. The reason I actually bought this charger, I've had an old charger for the last 25 years. Knock on wood, it uh, worked perfect for 25 years. I figured it was time to upgrade the uh, charging technology and that's why I got this unit here. So hopefully it stands up. I certainly uh, doubt I'm going to get 25 years out of this. With uh, most new things, if you get a few years out of it, you're lucky. Now, I should mention I really like this display here. As well, it has a built-in fan on the uh, left-hand side. So when you turn it on and it's charging, you'll hear the fan kick in. And these wires, I find, are a little bit short. They're only 70 centimeters long. The uh, power cord, I'm not too concerned about, but I wish these were a little bit longer. The uh, wires seem to be uh, fairly thick. The alligator uh, clips seem to have uh, quite a bit of tension on them, so they're uh, going to stay on the battery when they're hooked up. So what I'll end up doing is a long-term du durability test on this uh, down the road, and uh, we'll try hooking it up to some uh, deep cycle batteries and whatnot at a later date. But again, I just wanted everybody to see what it looks like outside of the box, how to set it up, and how to go through your different modes here. Again, there's four different modes, car and truck, AGM, motorcycle, and repair, again, for your older batteries that are heavily sulfated or uh, completely dead. And again, you go through them just by uh, touching your, your mode button. And it's, uh, it's very sensitive. And when it is done charging, it will go into the off position. That way you know that it's uh, completed its uh, charge cycle. Anyways, guys, uh, 
Just a short video on the unboxing of this. Again, there's different uh, variations of this on Amazon. Like anything, there's probably a uh, hundred different uh, names for this out there. And uh, we'll see how it holds up over the years. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any uh, tips or whatnot for other uh, viewers, make sure you post them below or questions. Thanks for watching. Take care.